everyone so now we are going to look how to configure dscp server inside the router because if you see in the soho small office home office already we covered the topic so a small business they are using the soho network inside the home or inside a small office they are using that one so in that scenario they are not keeping separate dscp server like in our previous class we used the separate dscp server but in the case of soho they are having the dscp server inside the router so today we are going to learn how to configure dscp server inside cisco router so we will create one basic scenario imagine this is your small company and you have five computer or uh, four computer and one laptop like this the one which i connected this is a very small company if you see there is some uh, what we can say some small offices they are not having the proper setup just they have one router one switch so imagine uh, this is that scenario in that one actually what they are doing they are configuring they are not using separate dscp server they are using the router only to behave like a dscp server so in this scenario if you see here i can keep here the ip whatever ip we are using we can use anything i am using this one 192.168 192.168.1.1 slash 24 many students saying why only this ip we are taking you can take anything whatever you want to take i am taking this one your wish whatever you want to take take this that one so imagine this is a dscp ip means this is ip address we are going to assign to this interface r uh, router r r1 and the interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 here so we can say this is a gateway for this computer this computer all this computer this is a gateway so now we need to assign the ip here before we are assigning manually to this all computer but now we are not going to assign manually automatically this computer is going to get the ip from the dscp server now we are going to configure inside this router so this router should give the ip to all this computer so let's do the configuration i can do directly inside the router but anyhow let me type here in the notepad so you can have the copy also so here i can write dscp server lab okay dscp lab or anything whatever you want to give you can give i will do the configuration enable config t host name r1 then interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 I will assign the IP address 192.168.1.1. Give space 255.255.255.0. I will write here no shut. <coughs> okay, this is the basic configuration. Just assigning the IP address. What we done with this one? Just we assign the IP address. Now we need to configure the DSCP server. So this is the procedure. You will write IP DSCP, and after that you will write pool and give the name. you can give any name you can give any name here i will give abc or anything pool name we need to define after that you need to define network so what network ip you want to give so i will write network and write the network id and the subnet mask so what ip we are planning to give 192.168.1.0 and subnet mask we are planning to give 0.0.0, .0, .0 sorry 255. 255.255.0 this is our network we are planning to give the ip so from this range you are going to get the ip to all this machine and we need to define the gateway also so you can write here default uh default below you will write d default router and put the gateway whatever gateway you want to put 192.168.1.1 so what we can say this is a default gateway so this is only the configuration later i will add some more example imagine here you give this ip as a gateway okay so this is a syntax if you want to uh, configure the dscp in the router this way you will do you will write ip dscp you are creating one pool and you need to give the pool name after that you will write network and whatever network you need to give you will write that network id and the wildcard mask then default router and whatever the ip that is default gateway you want to give you can define that one okay 
you will write that one an example if you want to exclude some ip maybe you can see you can say i have some machine maybe you have some server this is a server imagine this server no need to give the ip manually you are going to configure the ip maybe we can say here 192.168.1.2 this is the ip we static ip we configure and we don't want our machine to give this ip to anyone this is a manual manually we put because in the real scenario especially for the server routers we are not going to get the ip from the dscp we are going to assign the ip statically static ip they will have static means manually we will configure so if you want to put here say uh, if you want to say to to this dscp pool don't give this ip to anyone we can say also if you did not say maybe this guy will give from uh, again like 192.168.1.0 is the zero means in the place of zero you will have one two three like this till two five four so here i put zero but when they are giving the ip they will say okay one dot one is my gateway so i will give one dot two but already we have one dot two here then they will give 1.3 here 1.4 here 1.5 1.6 1.7 but we use already 1.2 so for that purpose what we will do we will use one more command anywhere we can define here example i can write here i will write exit and then ip dscp exclude excluded address and whatever address you don't want to use you can write here 1.1 till 192.168 1.2 like this we can define so we are saying don't use this ip when you are giving this ip to the machine okay so let's do one by one first what i will do i will assign the ip address to this router so i copy this one let me go to the cli of the router and i will paste here i will write here no and then i will paste here so if you see what issue we are having here config t spelling is wrong here so if you see here i need to give the space okay so now i can paste again now it is okay ip assign now i will put this configuration from here to here this is a dscp configuration is pasted and if i want to include i am not sure this command will work in the packet tracer or not let's see because i think this command will work in the evng or gns yeah it work here also so no issue so what i am saying here i configure the dscp server inside the router and i am saying dscp server don't give this to ip exclude this ip i am saying to dscp server which to ip one ip which router is using here and the other ip which server is using here so if you want to reserve some ip you can put here like 1.1 till 1.10 so they will reserve this ip 10 ip he will not give to anyone if you have any server you can configure that static ip means you can configure manually that ip okay after that you can go to desktop and click and click the dscp of the machines you will get 1.3 if you see here ip address is starting from 1.3 if you did not put this uh, this one exclude this ip then they will start from 1.2 okay 1.2 and 1 or 1.1 like that so here i will go i will select all the machine you will go and you will select the dscp if you see you are getting the ip if you go here in the desktop go here and select dscp okay here also you can see you are getting the ip you can go here you can check here you are getting the ip go here select here you are getting the ip okay and if you want to ping you can ping also you already have the ip wherever you want to ping whatever you want to do you can do so in the companies you have the big network you cannot assign the ip manually so what we can say automatically dscp is going to give the ip and also if you are using the wi-fi network or if you are in airport restaurant anywhere if you are using the wi-fi from that place you will get the automatic ip even if you are using the wi-fi in your home automatically your laptop and desktop is going to get the ip how with the help of dscp only and now so we verify everything is working perfectly 
there is some show commands we are going to verify but i think all will not work here so let's try here whatever we work here we can check we can say show ip dscp binding so if you see here here in the binding table we will have the ip and the mac address so this is the ip 192.168.1.3 this ip we give to which computer or the client machine that machine mac address is here if you go here we have we give 1.3 to this machine and if you want to check the mac address you can see this is a mac address here okay this is the mac address and if i take this one or let me put the mac address outside somewhere here here this is the mac address of this computer same like that you have the mac address how you will get you will go configuration interface and you will copy this this is the mac address of this machine in the real scenario you will write get mac you will get the mac address okay so here so now if you are checking here this ip 192.168.1.3 this machine get and this is a mac address of that machine if you see correct so here the dscp server router is acting as a dscp server and they are recording here they are saying this ip i give to this machine whose mac address is this one this ip i give to this machine whose mac address is this one like that they have the entry and in the real scenario you will have the least time here we did not configure later we will see how much time this ip should how much days how many days how many days this ip should be assigned to this guy after that it will release and it will uh, this guy will get the same or different ip there is a what we can say time duration maybe one day or 24 hours or maybe one week there is a lease expiration we are saying there is a time in that one they are going to get the ip means once this guy get the ip after some days this ip will be released and again maybe he will get the same or different ip and how they get the ip automatically they get the ip okay so actually this we are not configuring in the big companies we are not configuring on the router we have the separate dscp server okay and now what i can say we can write show ip dscp pool with this one we will get the whatever the configuration we done if you see here how many address we are using one two three four five and uh, if you see whatever we told from wa what we can say from which subnet we are uh, giving this is the current index and this is the ip range from here to here we can give phi already we give one excluded and total we have this much so this detail also we will get in the router and if you want we can see show ip dscp you can press the question mark so binding we check if we have conflict means uh, two machines are getting the same ip then we can check that also so here nothing is showing because we don't have the same ip here like example this machine is also having 1.2 this machine also get the 1.2 so here we will have the dscp uh, ip address conflict ip conflict we will get and he here it will show us like uh, who is getting the same ip two time so these are the some commands we can put in the router and we can verify but in the company no need to configure on the router big companies are not going to use maybe very small company they will use this process but big company they have separate dedicated server nowadays everyone is using the virtualization so they will have the uh, virtualized server in that one they will have the dscp configuration so that is a server team maybe the microsoft server they will use or linux server they separate team they will configure everything okay so, but anyhow you should know how to configure in router also so this way we can configure on the router dscp server <coughs> after that we have the relay agent one concept so we are going to discuss that one also but before that one we will do one more lab in the eve ng so let me stop this